All right, here's a quick video about my plumbing setup. This here is my Spectra Ventura 150 water maker. I have it running right now, turning salt water into fresh water, which is pretty cool. So how it works, basically, you just come in here, turn it on right there, which turns on this pump, which starts the process of bringing in salt water out of the ocean right through this through hole right here. And the water then gets diverted to this, which is a sea strainer. It gets up to the big stuff, and then from there it gets diverted to the bottom of this guy. And depending on what that switch is in, it'll uh, then run through this tube to this filter here, and that houses a five micron pre-filter, and that's getting out some of the small stuff. And from there, it goes into this guy, which is the accumulator, and that provides a constant pressure of water uh, into this pump here, which is the Clark pump. And this pump is what is responsible for increasing the water pressure to a point that is uh, suitable to force water through the membrane, uh, which is inside of this tube here. It increases the pressure somewhere around 700 PSI uh, in order to force that water through the membrane. And during that process, there's an extra brine water discharge. Uh, so all the water isn't getting forced through there. The brine discharge comes out of the pump through that tube and out the side of the boat. And then the water that does get forced through and uh, the salt removed, the fresh water comes out of that tube. And depending on where that switch is, uh, it gets diverted either to the tanks or to a test tube. Uh, when it's in a test uh, mode, uh, it comes out of a tube here. And uh, right now I have it running straight into this bucket here. And uh, so you can test the quality before you uh, divert it to your water tanks using this little guy here. It measures the dissolved solids in the water. So as long as it's below about 700 parts per million, uh, according to the manufacturer, then you're good to divert it to your tanks. And I did test it and it's well below 700 parts per million. So I switched that to the tank position. Now it uh, gets diverted out uh, through this hatch and out towards the tanks. You can see there, there's a little gauge showing uh, your gallons per hour that it's uh, putting out. Right now it's showing between six and seven gallons per hour, which is exactly what we wanna see. So from the tank position, it goes out of these black lines through the hatches, it comes out right here, and then gets uh, or dropped into this. And depending on what this switch is in, it'll get either diverted to the port or the starboard side. Right now I have it on the uh, starboard side. So it runs through here up to the top here, where it then just dumps into the tank. And the bottom is where the water exits. And you can see the sight glass right here. Uh, and it's basically full right now. I don't want it to get it too full, but it's, you can see it's sitting right about there. And here's the other side, it's a lot lower. So pretty soon I'm gonna switch this to the other side to start filling that up. Uh, we got uh, a couple of vent ventilation tubes here just to keep the constant pressure inside of the water tanks. And then with this open, the water can freely exit here. When I pump it via this guy, which is a pretty nice feature to have, and then if I want to get water out of the other tank, I can just open that one and close that one, or I can get water out of, or I can open both of these and it'll equalize the level in, in the tanks. Uh, also the tube uh, runs through here. There's a T-junction under here where uh, part, it either runs to this or it runs back over to here. Uh, and you can see maybe the line that runs all the way around the top and it runs to this sharp well pump here. And that is designed to bring water from the freshwater tanks um, through the tube back to this, which is a charcoal filter designed to get out the chlorine in the water, which damages the membrane. And then from there, uh, just running fresh water through the system for a fresh water flush. Problem for me is that that uses a, a whole lot of fresh water, so I gotta figure out how long exactly I need to run it to actually flood the system. Most ocean run boats don't even have this whole flushing setup. They just run it every day and it seems to do all right for the amount of time they're out there. It does decrease the life of the system, but that may be the price you pay for uh, not using up fresh water during the flush. So that's pretty much it. If you got questions, let me know.